folks, Dr. Freedom here many times from Dr. News. News from in and around the universe that may or may not affect you on some strange, weird, subliminal level that could only be, well, not magic, but you know, it's kind of like that tingly feeling, you know, kind of like, you know, when you've just passed your test or something like that, or, you know, you've ran a marathon or, um, well, I don't know what it's like to run a marathon. So I leave that up to you folks who run a marathon. You know, kind of like that time you lost your, well, okay, we won't discuss that. But let's get into what we do have. It. Not a whole lot, but there was some stuff that popped up, you know, that I didn't get to yesterday. And, you know, I figured I'd pop on a few things today just to you know, even things out of it. As you, um, you see, I've been working on this, you know, studio over here. Hey, I see, say hi to, I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. Eve Miles there. I, I got Eve up on the table right now because I'm reorganizing the room. Matter of fact, you're going to see this back wall change eventually. Like that sword right there is going to go bye bye. And this is going to probably be my Doctor Who autograph picture row right here. I'm going to try to hold off on moving the Mechleth because I like that sword. But oh well, you're like, oh God, there's some fat old middle aged man out here talking about his interior decoration. But okay, let's get to the news. Let's get to what you're here for. Let's get to what we're going. All right. Here's... Wham. And no, I'm not to be confused with a certain other news program that is now copying my format. And they know who they are. All right. Doctor Who Magazine issue number 512 is going to be out Thursday. And check out this cover. Hang on. Hang on. Let's click on it so you can see it. Look at that. Ain't that freaking cool? I'm not kidding. That's a lovely photo of Peter Capaldi. Capaldi, Capaldi. Tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing. up. Okay. So that's having to do with, uh, I believe, you know, that's going to lead into extremis and all that stuff right there, if I remember right, if I, if that's, if that info is correct, you know, where you're going to wind up with the monks running around and all that for that's all over. Cause that's going to be a three parter if I remember right. Okay. So good peeps over at Dr. Magazine have released the cover for this month's new issue. 512 will be out Thursday. Um, of course you saw Peter Capaldi in his velvet jacket, you know, his shades and they're only known now the creatures as the monks. And they will, yeah, they will first appear in Extremis, and apparently it's going to arc over, I think, episodes six, seven, and eight. If I remember, you know, from what we've, you know, if you guys have been hanging around the channel, you remember all that. We've gone into this. Also inside the issue is an exclusive interview with David Suchet, you know, brilliant actor. He's been in many, many things. Guest star of this series episode, Knock Knock, along with chats with writer Sarah Dollard, who wrote Thin Ice, Frank Control Voice, who wrote Failure, um, oops, I mean Smile, and director Lawrence Goff. Or is that Go? Or Go? off okay i'll leave it up to you all right issue 512 also have previews of knock knock oxygen extremis and the pyramid at the end of the world so keep your eyes on out, out for that five, priced at five pounds 99 whoo okay moving onward yet another secret doctor series 10 per appearance has been confirmed the actress revealed the surprise news on bbc breakfast possible spoilers follow she doesn't really give what role she's going to play or anything so i don't even know why they're going oh my god there's spoiler <laughs> no there's not it just she said i'm gonna appear on the freaking show oh okay samantha spyro or spiro has confirmed during an appearance on bbc breakfast that she would be appearing later in the series although she reviews refused to reveal what exactly her role is in the episode and um, she goes i'll be in this series of doctor who i can't say how i can't say who and I can't say where. So the Olivier awarding will award. Oh, God. See, I, already bought, I blew it. I suck. <laughs> I got to give it up. No, the Olivier award winning actress has most recently been seen in season six of Game of Thrones as Melissa Tarly and is set to appear in the BBC Barbara Windsor biopic, Babs. She's also previously appeared with Dr. Writer Mark Gatiss in. Or is it Gaddis? You know, I see that's why everybody fights over pronunciations these days. In the sky comedy, Psycho Bitches. So like, like other guest stars, such as David Duche and Ralph Little, Spyro's appearance has not been revealed until now, and her name was not in showrunner Steve Moffat's episode guide at the beginning of the series. You see, he's being clever. He's on his way out, so he's going to start dropping shit on us at, like, you know, bombs out of nowhere, like some kind of magical Scottish stealth deal. It's, it's like a magical Scottish afro-headed stealth bomb you know it's like oh yeah or whatever you call that thing on the top of Stephen moffat's head i don't know but moving on 
Knock, knock. There's new images out for knock, knock. I'm going to have to start going with farfaraway.com one of these days, but this is what I got right now. And what I like about these, if you click on them, you get, these are really good res. And I always trust Dr. News to deliver the goods. He, you can sit here and scroll through them and all that. And lots of good stuff. Like I said, this is all stuff we've seen in the trailers. Okay. So this shouldn't be no surprise. That should be no surprise. We know there's some crazy wood creature. There's another thing for the next time trailer. If you want to rewatch it. And there's also the broadcast details as you know, where you are in the world, where, what channel it's going to air, what time, what lot, and all that is right here also as well. They'll probably amend to that over the week because that looks like kind of a short list. So keep your eyes out on that one. All right, moving on. Season 10, episode 5, Oxygen, Air Date, and Synopsis has been confirmed. Um, all right, here we go. Oxygen, written by Jamie Matheson, who's written Flatline. And a uh, real, really good one there, if I remember right, Flatline. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I loved Flatline. You know, with the bonus. Yeah, I know. Okay. It took a couple minutes for the hard drive to get there. All right. Premieres on Saturday, May 13th on BBC One and BBC America. And here's a synopsis. The Doctor, Bill and Arnold, answer a distress call in deep space and find themselves trapped on board the space station Chasm Forge. You know, we've seen this before, so we aren't going to go through it again. All right. So this is one of my right. This is one of the ones that was mainly studio bound. So but also keep a remember. All but four of the crew have been murdered, and the dead are still walking. Moving on. Top audience. All right, here's Smile's official ratings. Smile, it averaged out at about just short of 6 million viewers, which made it the 23rd most watched program of the week. The scary part is it still beat out BBC News all around the Mrs. Browns and the Antiques Roadshow. Master Chef, wow. Mm -hmm. But come on, look at this shit. Come on, Corey, 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 Corey. Ember, 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 Ember. How in the name of hell do you get the same spot 50 billion freaking times? Oh, man. Whatever. Broad Church came out at number one. And the one everybody's got their eyes on is, of course, going to be, you know, thin ice because of that horseshit that went on there. Okay. So. Keep an eye on it. Like I said, it, it did beat out just ahead of all around the Miss Browns, but six million, it's done better. But like I said, don't worry about overnights. The show is still doing incredibly well overseas. I just include this because this is data I have to cover. It's out there. Moving on. But if you also hear, I, I included this article from Doctor Who TV because this gives you a little quick guide into what you're looking at and, and how is it significant and all that if you really want to keep track of ratings. You know, so you have overnight consolidated live plus seven and audience appreciation index. Audiation, oh, audiation. What the hell is audiation? Audience appreciation index where you score the upset out of 100. All right. So right now we got the pilot came in with an overnight of 4.64, consolidated 6.68. Live Plus 7 will not be available yet, but in AI of 83. Smile 4.25. We'll get the um, way it consolidated on that probably pff, should be soon, actually. And in AI of 83, actually, we should have had that already. Maybe I missed it. Sorry. All right. Thin Ice, 3.76 million. All right. Keep in mind, before you go, oh, my God, the sky is falling. The show is going to get taken off the air. It can still jump up over two million and hit like six million. Again, you know, the thing is also that's just viewing in the UK. Please keep that in mind. All right. But it did score an 84, which is you know, top of the mark so far for series 10. It's beat out the previous two at 83. So hopefully this is going to be going up. Plus, keep in mind, Thin Ice was aired on a bank holiday weekend. And also, guess what? The episode was leaked out on iTunes at midnight the frickin' down that day. So God knows how many people, when they found out the mistake, went and watched it on iTunes that morning. Unit battles, classic Doctor Who monsters with friends new and old. Now, this the, the headline's talking about Unit Assembled, which is one I'm looking forward to because it's going to have John Levine, you know, Sergeant Ben, you know, good old you know, Richard Franklin back as Captain Yates, Joe, you know, what do you call it? Katie Manning back as Joe Grant, all messed up with the new gang of Osgood and you know, Kate Stewart. And but the reason I also included this, if you score if you scroll through here, look at all these. 
This is all stuff that's coming up from Big Finish. And it gives you the release date. Um, what do you call it right here? It tells you like it's a one set, blah, blah, blah. What, this is going to go out on June 30th. And you can order it by going to the line here. You see, you can pre-order this stuff. Like I said, here's unit assembled. Um, short trips are always good for you. Um, I'm not kidding. I love short trips. Corpse Day is going to be interesting. This is going to be another one from Torchwood with uh, Burn Gorman coming back to reprise his role as Dr. Owen Harper. So the Torchwood team is now re fully reassembled on Big Finish Audio. The thing is, people have kept asking me, okay, now that um, John Berriman's done with the Arrowverse, does that mean he's going to be going back to Doctor Who or Arrow? No, I don't think so. Um, if they called him back for an episode, I would be surprised. But Torchwood's dead in the water. Um, it shot itself in the foot. I'm not kidding. Miracle Day was sat was that bad. It really was. I'm not kidding. The the ratings on each episode internationally went downhill faster than a snowball heading for hell. It literally did. And it basically, I don't know. RTD was burned out. He should have had someone else come in and co-write because it was a freaking mess. It really was. Not to mention the colossal space vagina in the center of the planet. Oh, well. But lastly for today, before you get too down, far down in the dumps, this was a beautiful thing. This little boy, who's a feel, his brother had just passed away not long ago of a brain tumor. He's fighting cystic fibrosis but he couldn't make it to the Calgary Expo. So if you scroll down a little bit, he sent this very touching video. It's not that long if you want to watch it, to Peter Capaldi. And Peter Capaldi being the fantastic, super freaking guy, class act beyond all class acts, sent this cute little video back to him. I'm not kidding. This guy, oh my God, yes, this evil monster must be kicked off the show. Ugh. And no, you don't send me any article saying he just left because of his own accord. I do not buy that freaking horse shit for one second, and I never will. He was forced out. I'm laying you money. Oh, well. So, folks, I'm going to get off here now because this video has gone on too long because you're probably now going. And like I said, I've gone on. about. I'm also, I've, I'm collecting um, lines. I've already gone out for Death Moon 10, if you're interested in that. Um, our little audio adventure, if you ever want to go check it, it's got its own little playlist on the page. Just scroll down, look for it, or it's underneath the adventures of Dr. Freedom and Eric. If you can't find it, you know, you should be able to find it on its own playlist. Um, but if you want a good intro as to who the main character is and all that, start with Skydark. It's also got its own playlist and lines are, are um, I'm already starting to collect recordings from the guys for, um, Death Moon 10. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to sit down and start putting it together. It's going to be a frantic weird time. So well, that's it. You're probably going, that's it. Get that old man off the screen. Good night, folks. Take care. Have a good one. See you all the flip side.